Hi, I'm James Brundage with Start Automating, and today I'm going to introduce you to Show UI. Show UI is a quick little PowerShell module that allows you to write UI in PowerShell, and it allows you to script WPF interactively more simply than you can write a WPF application. It also allows you to take this data and very simply reuse that data with your PowerShell scripts with a technique called splatting that is built into PowerShell v2, and I'm going to demonstrate this today. So over here I've got a simple dialog and a simple function. My simple function is new user and it takes a first name and a last name. My dialog has two named elements, first name and last name. I'm going to go ahead and run this file to import my new user function and I'll show the dialog first. Now when I run this I get a hash table. Users of PowerShell should know hash tables pretty well, they show up all the time. The hash table contains a last name and a first name, and those correspond to what was in the text box. If the text box had be em been empty, there'd be nothing there. If it was a checkbox instead, then there'd be something telling you the check status. And otherwise you can use the tag property to store whatever arbitrary information you'd like. But this one's really simple, it just has a couple of automatic text values, and you'd be surprised how many forms are that easy. Now, when we click OK, it uses the automatic variable parent, which is the control name here that you have to set in order for this to work. And the control name is an anchor that is used to keep all the data and controls together in Show UI so that you can have many controls of the same sort in the same user interface together. And this get first and last name is just an arbitrary choice that I made because it reflects what it does. Much like PowerShell commandlet names, these screens sort tend to have the, uh, a simple and easy to use verb noun pair for their name and it'll use the parent, which is this whole grid, it'll set its value automatically to contain the first name and last name, and then it'll close the control. So I can store that in a result here. And when I need to do that, I have a variable containing the output of my UI, and my new user function takes these two parameters, last name and first name. And what splatting is, is a way to use a dictionary as the arguments to a function. So what you can do is simply at result instead of dollar result. And there we go, it calls my function. So that's a quick example of how you can use show UI together with splatting to make a front end of a script. It's obviously a very simple one, but you can do a lot of really cool things with the capability, and I hope this helps. Thanks.